Okay, so welcome guys to online journey. First time we're doing it. So my name is Gabrielle and I'm an intern at Frontline. So let's go around and just say our names and our position. Um, I'm Leticia. I'm the children's program coordinator at Frontlines. My name is Yalda. Um, I'm an intern from Ryerson um, from the child and youth program. Hi, I'm Melanie. I'm also an intern from the child and youth program at George Brown. I'm, hi, I'm Tobias. I'm the program team lead at Frontlines. Hi, my name is Shivang, and I'm an intern from George Brown College for Child and Youth Care Program. Okay, cool. So today we're going to do the activity week four, which is the theme is surviving the winter. So what we're going to do is create um, like snow globe type things where you can be creative and use what you have. So it would be useful if you have a paper plate of any kind, one that's like deep enough. And then, so on there, you can draw with whatever you want. Like I have these crayons that I borrowed from my roommate, but you can use paint or you can use markers or just pencil crayons, anything you want. Um, and then, so for me, I have this, and then I have this plastic wrap to put on top and I'll tape that on the side. And then you can put anything for the snow. I have like a little bowl of rice. Leticia has sugar, you can use salt pom-poms, anything you want really. Anything that's white that would like move around nicely, not too messy. <laughs> okay, so that's the activity that we're gonna do. So for the Bible quote, so the Bible quote for this week is James 1.12. So I'll just read it off my phone. So it's, um, blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. So yeah, so that is the Bible quote that we're doing and then we'll do the activity. So if we wanna start, everybody can take their paper plate that they have, doesn't matter what size it is really. <clears throat> and then, so basically you can draw anything you want, anything wintry. The example I have on the activity is like a snowman, but you could do winter, like trees, or I don't know, sledding, skating, something like that. So wait, what is everybody's favorite season? Yalda, what's your favorite season? Um, I like summer, I like the sun. I could sit in the sun for hours all day long. <laughs> I don't like the cold. I actually cannot stand it. I'm home all the time <laughs> and yeah. I like fall. Too you don't much. like. I like. The you leaves. don't like the winter. No, not at all. No. <laughs> I like fall though. The leaves, the colors. It's yeah. Like, I love nature. What about you, yeah. uh, Melanie? Um. So this is where I'm kind of weird. I don't really have a favorite season, but like I have a favorite thing to do in each season. Okay. So, what are they? Um. So like winter time, definitely like snowboarding. Like that's my thing. Even though like like because I I have a hip problem. Like I was born with my hip dislocated. Um, I'm not technically supposed to because of how much like, you know, it uses your legs, but I'm like, I like it. It's fun. I haven't died doing it yet. So we're going to keep going. Um, and then <laughs> fall, I just love like the like, same thing as yellow. Like it's just so pretty. Like the aesthetic, like just all the time, just flannels and leaves. Just please, I want all of it. Like all the hot chocolate and, you know, like warm drinks by the campfire. Um, my family goes to the cottage a lot in the fall. Like we actually like go up for two weeks uh, for Thanksgiving, like the week before and the week after. And it's all of us, like all my aunts and uncles. And um, so we're just there like as the family for like a couple weeks and it's really pretty. So it's fun. Um, and then summer, just the beach. Like I live on the beach. Like don't, don't make me leave. Um, and then spring, I just love like waiting for like everything. Like, you know, like it's starting to get warm. You're out of the winter funk. Like it's like, yes, like I can feel the warmth. I can feel the heat. So yeah, that was my really long-winded explanation. <laughs> no, I like that you have, you know what you like for each each uh, season. That's good. Yeah, because like my thought is like we can't like fight the fact that we have seasons. So like why be upset that a season's happening? Because like you're just going to be upset right. that time that it's going down. So you might as yeah, well. Yeah, like it's going to happen <laughs> either way. Yeah, you're like, this isn't terrible. Like winter, like <laughs> there's sometimes where I'm like, not today, but. Yeah. I'm going to stay upset until like April, May. And then <laughs> much happier. 
I mean, I like, I don't blame you. It's snow. It's a bit better this year, I guess. We don't have to, like, commute. Like, we're just staying inside, really. Yeah. And, like, also, too, like, snow, like, when you're out of the city is also a lot better. Because, like, I feel like you can actually enjoy it. Here, it just turns into, like, the like the slushy, salty, like, and it just makes yeah. it really difficult. And they never clear it, like, properly. Right? So it's always there. All right. I'm totally cheating and looking up what I want to draw so it doesn't look completely disgusting. <laughs> That's okay. That's a good idea. What do you What are you gonna draw? Do you know? Um, I think I'm gonna do hockey equipment just because, like, when I feel um, like when I think winter, it's just hockey, hockey season, playing mm-hmm. it, and everything. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I'm in, I'm gonna do like some forest, like some trees. Ooh, this is oh, the start. My snow. Oh, you got a snowman. Yeah, <laughs> the trees are coming in one. soon. <laughs> right now, I just got my snowflakes. That's as far as oh, we've nice. got. Oh yeah, I like those. <laughs> yeah, we had some sticky snow. I saw lots of snowmen at the park. Yeah. It would always be so funny when my sister and I would build like snowmen. So we would just like have to cry for our dad to come out and actually like, pick it up to stack it because we'd roll them too big and they'd be way too <laughs> big. And like, why do you guys always do this? We're like, because we don't want a lame snowman. <laughs> Yeah, I remember in like the schoolyards, we used to make like those huge snowballs and then the schoolyard would just be full of like the huge ones. They're always telling you like not to build snow forts and have snowball fights and stuff. And I'm like, guy, what's the point? Yeah. (laughs) It's like, what do you want us to do? Just sit down and look at it? No. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Play it. (laughs) Damn. I mean, like, kind of crossing sticks, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. I just went with trees because trees are pretty easy to draw. I was thinking in my head, like, if you mess up hockey sticks and a puck, like, we have issues. (laughs) (laughs) It's about the process. It's not about how good it looks. It's just about the, you know. Calming process of doing art. Thank you. I agree because that's why I haven't seen my picture yet. Exactly. It's actually pretty relaxing to just sit and draw. It's it's really therapeutic to draw. Yeah. Like doesn't even matter if you're good or not. Like just subjective, anyways. Firstly, I like coloring a bit better just because like I judge my own drawings. So like coloring yeah. is already there, you just need to make it look pretty. So it's like, okay, I can do that. Those coloring you know, books so are f- so fun. I rather draw because I feel like whenever I color, it doesn't look as good. So I draw <laughs> stuff and I let other people color it in. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I like coloring, but I always have a hard time like picking what colors I want to use. And then I always end up using like the same three. You know, yeah. so all the drawings just look the same. <laughs> yeah, you're just in your color scheme. You're like, I don't know. <laughs> I always just go with like pink, purple, blue, you know. It's really funny because like my older cousin, who's like my older sister, just because like I'm the oldest, uh, for my family at least, whenever she would color, because she's like six years older than me, whenever we'd color together, I get so frustrated because like she'd be really good and I'd be like really trash. And I'm like, this doesn't look as good as yours. And now that she has kids, she has a three and five year old and I was coloring with them um, up at the cottage and they start getting frustrated with me because they're like, you color too well, Mama. Like mine looks bad. I'm like, whoa, like how the tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't like this. Like I feel so old right now. Yeah. How does it look? Oh, yours looks I like, cool. I like. Good job. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Progress report, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, you're an artist, Latisha. I've got two trees. Oh, real too. <laughs> yes. Mine's a bit bigger, so I gotta gotta do more. <laughs> I got these huge plates. Hmm. You know what I feel like right now, Loki? You know, like when we you were in elementary school and they just make you do a bunch of art before parent teacher interview night, so it looks like you guys like do things as a class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
What I really don't understand is why they always made us clean out our desks. They had to make the classrooms look neat. Yeah. yeah but like, that's the same with my mom telling me to like, clean my room when family's coming over. Like, who's going to be up in my room? Besides <laughs> me. There, you know there's always like the one person that's like I'm gonna pee. Yeah, yeah, that goes and, like I have to go in the bathroom and, like goes and snoops and sees what's up and it's like hey yeah. <laughs> so I don't have black so we're gonna have a purple puck this works it's a pastel kind of game that sounds nice different color schemes yeah they all work am I allowed to implement like um marker in this painting is that okay yeah of course yeah, you can use whatever materials you have. Perfect. <clears throat> I just... I have like so, these really fancy twistables. They're not oh, mine, they're my roommates. I used to love those. Like there's so many. Yeah, that's, a, that's an artist like <laughs> kit right there. Yeah, <laughs> remember when they came out th with the erasable pencil crayons? I like loved I, it. I oh, was those are great. That was innovation <laughs> at its finest. Every time they came out with something new, I'm like, Mom, I have to get it. I have to get it. Yeah, I was like, Christmas, Christmas. My parents were like, Christmas is like ten months away. That's fine. <laughs> Really challenging, like channeling my inner childhood artist and doing the sun in the corner. Oh yeah, <laughs> get the sun rays. You gotta have the that's beams. The, yeah. yeah, that's the best. You gotta put sunglasses on it. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done my trees. Very nice. You even got like the branches. The detail. Yeah, they all. Uh, intertwine with each other I didn't realize that <laughs> that's okay it's windy you know yeah, yeah. yeah right. blowing it together yeah <clears throat> a winter storm like what are you gonna do <laughs> I'm also doing a sun Melanie you gonna put sunglasses on it too should I yeah our suns have to be cool together okay we'll I'll do my best Shivang, what are you drawing? Um, well, I actually don't have the paper plates right now, so I'm oh, just okay. utilizing a paper, and I have, I mean, draw, I drawn a circle, and so I'm just thinking that that is a paper plate. So okay. nice. I'm just drawing inside that circle, and uh, my idea will be drawing a landscape where a stick man, right? Basically, a stick man of uh, uh, snow. Um, the like stick man with the snowman plus houses and snow and everything, sort of small landscape. Yeah, I also love painting. Um, Are you drawing I, something, Yelda? I am, but I have to use paper too. Okay. I just have a snowman. So you far, snowman too. Think what else to add? Yeah. You guys, put <laughs> clothes on your snowman. You're gonna leave them naked. I gave him some, I'll just show you, some buttons. <laughs> oh, that was cute. I made a little one here, but this one's better. <laughs> That's clean. That's nice. Little, little <laughs> See the suns. Um, I forget the wait, how do you get sunglasses? <laughs> I have my sun. Two circles and a line. Yeah. The, <laughs> all right. Like a, a U, a half a circle. Yeah. yeah. Those are the cool sunglasses. <laughs> I don't know what way I want to do my face. Like, do I want to do his face this way or this way? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I don't know how to do it. So I feel like if we <laughs> do so this way, it'd be like a profile. Like, it'd only be one sunglass. Like, it wouldn't be both. Yeah. <clears throat> sunglasses. Oh, yeah. So you got a smiley freckles. chin and some freckles. Yeah. You need that. Looks like the baby son from Teletubbies. Anybody remember that? Oh, that's my favorite show ever. <laughs> Me too. With it. 
Are we recording? Because my grandma, every time she like hears about Teletubbies or like it's mentioned, she's like, "You made me watch that show over and over every time it ended again, and again, and you'd cry if I didn't turn it back on." And I was like, "Okay, I'm sorry." Yeah. It's like twenty something years later, and I'm still getting yelled at. Like it didn't. Right? So serious. Like you were the adult, you could have turned it off. <laughs> I went as as Lala, the yellow one, for Halloween when I was. Oh my god. <laughs> I like the red one. That was my favorite. But that show and Barney was like really popular. I wasn't really a ba- Barney fan though. Barney? It wasn't my thing though. No. Yeah, I didn't. Really yeah, watch same. That I'm a Teletubby. Like fan. Barney? Yeah, no, I didn't. <gasps> I like Teletubbies. Though. Barney's <laughs> not positive. It's scary. It was positive, but then it's like Teletubbies. There's more of them. Yeah, but Teletubbies to me were more scary. They were so cute. <laughs> we didn't oh. even talk. Low key, <laughs> I was kind of afraid of the vacuum. Me too. Uh, I hear that. Okay, guys, please be gracious. Drum roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> you can all have blue snowmen. Are these- that's great. Oh, it's great? I thought it was blue. <laughs> Mm. I kind of messed up my sunglasses. They're a little wonky. It's okay. It looks cool to me. <laughs> Very long. <laughs> That's a funky sun. sun. <laughs> my son has some heart shaped sunglasses. We went for like a kind of like oh, festival vibe. Heart shape. That's cool. He's giving me summer vibes in winter. <laughs> in winter, yeah. Yeah, like yeah you have to hold up a little bit of hope. Like, we're hoping for it, like, off in the distance, you know? In the corner. Yeah, just, like, so close yet so far. <laughs> <laughs> a late, late winter, almost summer, almost spring. Mm-hmm. You know those days in the winter where it's, like, nice and sunny and you think it might actually be nice outside and you go outside and it's freezing? That's what that yeah. means. <laughs> it's like summer i promise and you go out and you're lied to <laughs> sometimes the sunny days are like the coldest days actually yeah don't let the sun fool you that's how they get you yeah picture actually makes me feel good yeah. Oh my goodness. I looked up hockey skate drawing to like copy it and someone like legit did it. Like that's no, that's out of my That's fancy. Like that. I can't that's a drawing. See, like that's that's more what I can do. Yeah. Old <laughs> <laughs> skates. Everyone just got so focused. <laughs> I'm like, so quiet. And all I see is everyone's like focused on their stuff. <laughs> I'm really focused on my sky right now. Try to make hot chocolate. Oh, that's yes. Marshmallow. You're drawing hot chocolate, Yelda? Yeah, but I can't draw the marshmallow yeah. because I don't have a white marker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just need the rainbow ones. Yeah, I made a pink. Hot yeah. chocolate sounds good right now. Yes. Is anyone else like confused? Well, I guess maybe like it's a seasonal thing, but like, was it just me or just like, was everyone trying to sell like those little like hot chocolate bomb things for a little while? Yeah. Like, sell off. <laughs> Right before like Christmas or something, and then they tried yeah. Valentine's Day. Did anyone try it? I was about to order it. No. The, the girl that made them, she like didn't follow through, which was kind of upsetting because oh. <laughs> I was looking forward to it. <laughs> I never tried it actually, but it looks good. 
right? I think it's easy to make. Yeah. We should have done that for yeah, activity. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to make the right? thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like not actually, it, it's just like trying to like mold it and like get the ball to actually like, no. I think they have like a, like a plastic mold. You just like pour the chocolate in it. And like, yeah, but like the, if you like, if you pour it and like you pour too much, then like, um, like the seal of it is wider than the actual like little ball uh, and, and like I tried to like crack it like crack it away so it wouldn't look so gross and then it just like cracked it open okay. and if you don't pour enough it doesn't actually seal and it's just like you think it would be easy but it's just very temperamental delicate yeah I'm just like how much or how little chocolate do you need like why is this so difficult Of course I made a mess with the paint. Of course I did. Oh my goodness. Are you really into it if you're not messy at the end? Right? You know what I'm saying? It's the passion. I guess you're right. I don't want to draw the helmet, but I feel like if I do, it's going to look like a big blob, and I'm scared. Say go for it. <laughs> Push um, yourself. <laughs> Challenge yourself. See what happens. You guys will know it's a helmet. That's all that matters. Yeah. Are you done drawing, Leticia? Yeah, I'm quitting while I'm ahead. Okay. Oh, I love the little scarf. Yes, the scarf. Both of them are very nice. Thank you. So now it's time to dry. Did you use paint or? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I painted them. Oh, okay. Cool. I think mine is done. Hey, that's nice. The... It's nice. Is that like a looking up view? Yeah, is it like of the perspective. Yeah. 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 That's dope. Kind of. <laughs> 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 Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Objective, right? <laughs> Whatever works. Why did I think trying to draw a cage would be a good idea? I could have just left it. Leticia, I should have done what you did and quit while I was ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have faith. You're going to get it and it's going to look great. So difficult. So Does that happen when, you guys, like, when you're drawing and you have the way you want it to look in your head and you actually start drawing it, this is not how it turns out at all, and you're like, okay. Yeah. I know that all too often. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do like a couple more minutes of drawing and then we'll move on to the other part covering it the actual snow globe part but is it a hockey helmet though i don't know if you guys can really see the cage because it's yellow but oh i see it oh it's well, good. good i don't know if that can actually be worn but like eh, you get the idea
Melanie, do you have plastic wrap or something to cover it? Um, so I didn't have plastic wrap, so I cheated and just got like one of the big like freezer bags. Okay, yeah, that that'll work too. Just slip it in there. Because <clears throat> my sister told me, so I was like, "Hey, do we have plastic wrap?" She's like, "Yeah, I go in the kitchen, but this is tin foil." And she goes, "Oh, I thought that was the plastic wrap." Oops. And I was like, "Um, <laughs> yeah, tin foil won't work because you can't see through it." Yeah. And I heard so I'm, just poke holes in it, and I'm like, so when I shake it, the things can just fly out. She's just, oh yeah, <laughs> not that. Okay, I'm done my drying, so I'm gonna put plastic wrap on top of mine, and then like tape it to the back, probably. Is yours working, Leticia? Will glue work? Because I have glue. To glue your uh, wrapping like, paper? Like my wrap. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, are we okay. putting the salt before or after? Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna like tape it first, most of it first, and leave like a little hole at the top, and then I'll like put it in through uh, the top. Okay. But I could do it before, or it's best to yeah, just Yeah, whatever works for you. This depends, because we all have different supplies, so we're all gonna, gonna work a bit differently. You know what, I think I agree with you, and I can just seal it. Because I feel like before, if you have to move the plate at all to put the plastic wrap, like you're kind of... Yeah. I kind of love how the sugar looks at the bottom of this. It really looks like snow. Looks pretty. <laughs> and I want to show you guys, but I can't tilt my plate up yet. Yeah. It's going to be a big surprise at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a big reveal. <laughs> So how much like salt or whatever we're using should we put in? All of it. <laughs> just the whole box. Just go. Full set. I say just put in as as much as you want, really. It's up to you. Be creative with it. It could be more fun if it had like more. Yeah, then you can like shake it around. And it's cool. And you can like Use it as like a decoration. You could put it on your wall or your window. That's cute. It actually looks like it. Also, like low key, the sound of it's kind of soothing too. <laughs> what are you using as a snow melanie um we actually have kosher salt because my sister likes to cook a lot so i thought like the thicker salt might be better oh nice good idea i can tell her i'm using it she's like what are you using my salt for I'm like um <laughs> just an art activity <laughs> I'm making snow gloves. Okay, I did my artwork and uh, this is the first time I am uh, engaging in art after 12th standard. 
12th grade. So, and I didn't have any colors. So I just used some pencil shading and all. So here it is. Artwork, brother. Okay. Artwork. Nice. So, <laughs> Yeah, just to be clear, the one who, who is like a, a bad girl is the angel. Right? So. <laughs> what happened to stick people? You bring it in closer. Like, yeah, uh, that's that's uh, the brother and that's uh, the elder brother and that's the snowman. So it's out of the house and enjoying the snow. That's so cute. <laughs> it's very shabby, I know, but still. It's shabby. Okay, okay. No, I love it. <laughs> behind it. Right, so it's very simple. Yeah. Job, Your version job. of stick people and my version of stick people are two different things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the uh, the thing that is like uh, around their necks that is like a snake is the scarf. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to draw a scarf, but it's like a snake. So. Make sure to close the little uh, hole if you made one at the top. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't come. <laughs> Double check my uh, Ziploc. Yeah, yeah. I've done that I'm like, oh yeah, that's closed, and it's it's not. <laughs> okay, this is what mine looks like with the rice. The rice works really well. Yeah. It just looks like a snow, snow globe. Yeah. I wonder if there'd be like a way, like, like, you know, like, I wonder if there'd be a way to, like, maybe, like, if we actually, like, got, like, little things to, like, glue on it and then, like, domed it with the styro, like, with not styrofoam jokes, so that wouldn't be see through, um, the, like, the cling wrap. Mm -hmm. Like, then we make it look more, like, three dimensional, right? Yeah, that's what it. I found online people were doing with the um, clear plastic plate. You like glued the plate on top so it looked like oh, a okay, circle, that you makes know? Sense. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we don't have clear plastic plates in Toronto because none of us could find some. Yeah. <laughs> Very hard to find. <laughs> I looked at two different stores I didn't have. So. I know. That's like how difficult this is. <laughs> I like this one. It's cute. Okay, so let's do some discussion questions for the last 10 minutes. So what is everybody's favorite thing about winter? I know y'all that doesn't like winter, but what's your what's one thing that you like about winter? I think you can find something. <laughs> um, I personally like the way snow like falls. I think it's very like graceful. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of in the same thing as like Tobias. Whenever it snows, I get really happy. I don't know. I just feel like like a warm scent, and I feel like okay, like now it's time to watch movies with my family. Like it's yeah. just like they can't leave now. <laughs> <laughs> You're trapped. You're that. Spend time together. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, I like Christmas, like the lights. And that just people are so much happier and the songs, it's such a cheery mood. And like, I also like when the, you go somewhere with like trees and then you can see the snow like on the branches. I think that looks mm -hmm. beautiful. I love that. Yeah, it's so pretty. I think my favorite thing is like watching kids play in the snow. I think it's the cutest thing. <laughs> like I, I babysit this little girl who's five. So I take her to the park all the time. And like the kids just, they just, you know they don't care about like the colds or like if like if they're wet or anything like they really just don't care they could just play for hours in the snow i think it's the cutest thing they make like snow angels and like there's these big like snow like hills so they like run up it and they like go down on their stomachs and i think it's really cute <laughs> i used to do that as a kid but i don't know how i used to do that. <laughs> it just hurts now too you're like ow yeah. like, i was just yeah myself down hills and it was okay like nothing hurt afterwards like what? <laughs> find it so it's really funny like when you're younger you don't notice those things and then when you try to do it now you're like no it's too cold or like, yeah it but we used to just get up and like go and like, I, love no stopping us. I used to like beg my family to let me shovel the snow like I would cry like, please let me shovel and they'd be like no like I'm and now I'm just like, don't even ask me 
<laughs> See, they're probably wishing for that mentality back then. Right? Like, what happened to the French You do that. <laughs> That's funny. Well, um, I uh, regarding winters. Uh, firstly, I like what how snow makes everything look beautiful and magical, right? Uh, secondly, the evening vibes are completely different, right? Uh, like, I still remember the first time when I came here. Like my old roommates were uh, denying the fact. That, uh, it was my first time encountering with snow, and uh, I didn't listen to them. I, I just went outside, right? <laughs> so. I I just love snow and thirdly uh the I I like winters and snow because of the fashion right I you, I get the chance to wear uh, all sorts of like sweatshirts all the coats all the turtlenecks everything like mm-hmm. everything I like I can't wo- wear those in winter because then I will be like hot potato so no <laughs> true um well I guess my favorite like, I kind of already said it like snowboarding I've always loved it um but like more recently cuz I haven't like doing a lot of snowboarding like most winters are at the cottage with my niece and nephew um so we're there for christmas um and it's just like they just make everything so fun they just they see snow and they're thinking like snow forts snowball fights like you know sledding they're just like let's go and it's like just you're outside for like hours and it was just cute um because like when we went out um like when and we were like tobogganing and stuff like that like um my little like five-year-old nephew would like jump on us and try to like get us off the like the toboggans and it's like he would like throw snow as we were going down and just run like a big snowball fight and yeah it's just really cute and really fun so just yeah okay and then the last discussion question is what are some activities that we can only do in the winter so snowboarding, skiing, snowball fights, <laughs> skating. Um, mm. trying to think of something different. Uh, like cleaning our snow off the car. You don't have to do that. <laughs> <It's summer. laughs> yeah, shoveling. Yeah. I'm so negative today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. That's kind of like a. It seems like it should be an easy question, but it's also kind of like a hard question. Because like, what yourself. do you wait? Yeah, like what do you wait till winter to do? And I feel like that's different mm-hmm. for a lot of people. Because it could be like you only see your family then, so like that's mm-hmm. the time like you're just looking forward to. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of outside activities, but I feel like if you go to like Blue Mountain, you open like all year round yeah know. they are it looks like a different place in the summertime though okay it's amazing how much like just snow like it's like oh this the actually they actually have like trees and like plants and leaves and stuff and it's like <laughs> so did everyone finish their snow globe or their drying everyone's done awesome yeah. I'm so mental. No, plastic bags don't work as well because like all chopped at the bottom. Oh, that's true. That's so good though. I like how everyone's is different. We all have like different materials and everything. Yeah. yeah. I love this. Cool. So I, I think that's the end of the activity. We're all done. <laughs> well, thank you for leading this, Gabrielle. This was great. Yeah, no problem. This is going to be hanged in my office. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, make a nice decoration. Mm-hmm.